and here is the tripod table. As you can see there are a few scratches on it. We think it is oak because as you can see there the varnish has come off and you can see the natural wood underneath and it's a sort of a, a light brown colour and there are many scratches on the table and I'm too deep the mostly surface scratches and that one there is it looks like a little Any surface crack there has been filled in with varnish. And you can see the varnish has come off on the legs. So there's no, there's no varnish there. And that's the more or less the the wood. There's no cracks. little nicks all the way along and I've I have weighed it and it weighs just over two stone. So that's the legs in full. So it's a bit darker from the light. And as you can see, it's nicely turned. so heavy yeah, this is nicely turned most of the tables don't have this rope effect around here a bit dirt and there's the old furniture from Henry Windsor's Floor, Cloth and Furniture Warehouse and it's 5 to 6 Lion Gate Road, Landport, Portsmouth. This table has originated from Portsmouth. It was my wife's granny's and she lived down in Portsmouth. And that's the, the catch that you can see. onto here in the closed position and this is to release the catch itself has just come off that one there but the other two are still stuck there, there. just a bit a bit loose on that top of the screw there's a screw in but that one is broken 
and you can see the binds. The left hand one is as it should be with the uh, what do you call them? Wood, the dows or whatever, biscuits, whatever they're called. And uh, this one, the they've all come loose. So whether or not this has been readjusted at some point, I don't know. But that one is intact. So the bottom one here is intact. So. And it's got a bad varnish finish on it underneath. And it's got a little, little bit of raised wood there where it's somebody's tried to there's two screws. Somebody's tried to fix that bit of wood back into place where it's raised up. I'll show you zoom out so you can see hopefully focus. You can see that little bit of wood that someone's tried to fix, so it's had a little bit, bit of a repair job at some point. Which is probably easily fixed. And there's the middle centerpiece. And, and then the table in its closed position. Sorry, this is outside as it's, it is December and there seems to be no light in the house whatsoever. So, as you can see, it's a very nice table. I would say from about the 1920s. And I'll give you the, the table on top once again. So you, hopefully you can see all the scratches. There's a knot in the wood. And it's the only one that seems on the top of the table. Okay. Happy bidding and I hope a bye. And I hope my mother-in-law doesn't find out that we're selling it because it's been stuck in a garage. It's been stuck in my shed for the last 10 years and we don't know what to do with it. So, and this is why I think it's oak, as I said, because of the light. A uh, mahogany would be more red and that's definitely, as you can see, it's... Just, just bad varnish finish. Okay.